Hey guys, I just want to do a quick little video here about ammo. Um, what I have here is Winchester 115 grain, 9mm everything. Uh, the Remington 124 grain and Blazer Brass 124 grain. Um, this weekend I had a failure to fire on both my Glock 43 and my Sig Sauer P365. Um, the shell would not come out of the chamber failure to eject so the next round got stuck behind it um, I did it that to get cleared no problem and the ammunition that I had a problem with was the Winchester USA forged ammo with this casing and you can see this is not your normal polished brass casing it's dirty or not dirty whatever the finish is on it it's not as smooth it's not as clean as your standard casing that I normally get anyways you know here's the Remington nice and smooth and shiny and no issues with this ever with a Remington blazer brass same thing I've never had a problem with their ammo but obviously if you compare the two you see the difference and the Winchester has this different finish on it and that's when it jammed at two different guns now these are subcompact guns. Maybe the tolerances are a little bit, you know, trickier, and you know, because I've never had this problem with my Glock 19. But uh, yeah, and uh, this one jammed in both guns this weekend. And then actually, after I got the jam cleared, I threw another clip of this in and shot a whole clip of this, no problem. So, like I said, if you've got a very tricky gun, I guess, very you know, low tolerance to ammo. Not a good gap buy because of the casing that's on it. And like I said, I normally use these two. So I don't know if anyone else has incurred that problem. I don't know if it's a smaller, more finicky subcompact guns. But that's the problem I had this weekend. Like I said, no issues with these two. Both guns jammed with this. And like I said, I reloaded my Sig Sauer with a clip of 10 of this and shot it afterwards after the jam. And it shot fine. So... Just wanted to throw that out there, guys. I did get this on sale for $7.99 a box. Um, they do have that a couple times a year. This stuff I got on sale for $8.99 a box and $8.99 a box. So I always try to buy my ammo when it's on sale. And other than that, guys, any questions, concerns, comments, or feedback, thank you. And uh, all right, that was it. Have a good one.